Hello guys, welcome back to the second part of this video. In the initial video, we have seen this architecture that will be working that we was working on before was the SNS topic and we have subscribed a queue to that topic. We have manually published a message to this topic. We have seen the message being published to the queue. In today's video, that is second part, where what we'll cover is we'll create a lambda function and we'll allow this lambda function to publish a message to this SNS topic. And that message should be published to Q and to the lambda functions. Let's go ahead and quickly do it. I have already done a setup which we have seen. This was the previous code where we have created a SNS topic, the Q queue policy. In the same code, I have just added an a lambda function which is an API and we will be sending a post request to this API and here in our handler that request will be handled here where the body of this message will be the input to the SNS topic that is subject, the message and the topic ARN that we want to publish. Right now I have hard coded this topic name that is being created from this serverless and the topic name was this one. So I have hard coded the topic name right here but it can be grabbed from the environment variable that we can set. For now let's keep it here. I have tested it locally and it is working fine. To test lambda locally, uh, what we need to do is we need to run serverless offline. Yep. So here what this will do is it will run this lambda version locally. We should get a local endpoint. The 10 points will pass the body object and the message to the SNS topic and that should be published to the topic. Let's see if it is working fine. Let's just started the development server. Now we have got the endpoints. This is the endpoint that I was testing previously before starting of this video. So here's the same URL. And that's a post request. And I'm sending a message with the body written message. This is anything. Endpoint was problem with the endpoint. There was an extra space cleaning of this URL. Right, really. So this is it says the topic does not exist, which means this code is working fine. And if you see the logs here yeah, it says the subject that we have sent from this subject and message. Now let's go ahead and deploy this. This is serverless. This step. What this will do is Create the topic, the queue, and the policy, and the lambda function. The lambda function should have also permission to publish a message to SNS topic. That permission we have added here in the role statements. Whenever the lambda gets deployed, it creates a new role. For the lambda, and we are explicitly specifying the permissions that lambda to perform extra things. That is here we have specified SNS, so it is able to perform all the operations of SNS. But we should restrict it to send a message only, publish message. But now for, let's keep it this way. And this is the topic that we'll be creating. So we have specified only on this resource, the lambda will be able to publish this topic only. Let's. Uh, 
plus it should deploy the lambda well, let's go to the console i've already kept it open with this right now there is no the function yet there will be soon once that is deployed there is no topic as well use we should have this is done deploying here right now what we have done is we have created a lambda function and we are publishing a message to SNS topic and this SNS topic is subscribed to a queue what's trying to post this done this is done Upload the code to this. Let's go ahead and have a look at as well. Let me go to S3. And this is the bucket. This bucket they upload. No, there is nothing in the bucket because nothing is deployed yet. It is being right. Yeah, here we have a serverless folder. Or you know, it creates the folder and it zips the package of this and creates a cloud formation template based on the WSML ml file this is our code 31 mb and this is compiled json file so much is done is creating a stack let's see if there's any stack this is done creating Take a look at the cloud main file. You should have one stack which is showing the resources that got created, events that has happened, and the resources that are created. The resources created. The first is the queue policy topic, the queue, the role for lambda, the EPA gateway. Query source, the API, group for lambda, version, lambda permission, the function. So many things got created with this stack. See the lambda. If we refresh it, we should have one function. This is publisher lambda. So that will be publishing a message. In the topic, uh, let's refresh this. Topic is there and it must be a subscription to the queue that was done in the first part of video. The same code it is executed and the queue should be there. Now let's get and the API gateway which got created while we deployed the lambda. By default, when we deploy lambda, an API gateway gets automatically created for that lambda to handle. We have one API, and that is the endpoint of that lambda. Should have got one, yeah, this is the lambda endpoints. This is basically the API endpoint, and this is the path URL. And let's go to the API testing. So, this is basically a client which is used to test apis when later videos but for now it is 
this message, message got published we have the message id from sns let's see if that message is this message published to queue and we should have one message here it's available in the queue let's say take a look at this queue send or receive message we will it says one message available let's pull for message and stop pulling because we have got one message that we have sent is checked as notification the message from publisher this is the same message that we have published here this is so guys we are done with today's video we'll be having a third part where we'll be subscribing a lambda function to the sns topic till then if you like the video please hit like button do, do share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye